Hello and welcome to this tutorial video in which we'll be looking at the very basics of LightKey. LightKey is a lighting software for the Mac and that we're using to control stage lights at some of our smaller lighting rig uh, locations. So keep on watching for the basics to how you run this on a Sunday. Um, a bit of basics, this computer is connected to a USB DMX dongle and from that dongle is how we send information out to our lights which are all daisy chained together over three or five pin XLR cable. Okay, so once you've uh, launched LightKey, it's this disco ball icon at the bottom, it will bring you onto this landing page. And here is where we're gonna load our project. So um, this is gonna be all the settings and layout for what we've designed uh, for our lighting rig. So what you're looking for is the one that's right for your site. So if this example is Windsor, so click down here, it will show the recent projects. Double tap on that and that will load up our Windsor rig. Now as default, it will full screen itself. Um, if you're using the computer for other applications, you'll want to minimize it. So if you just hit the green button up here, that will exit um, full screen mode and give you this floating window. So let me talk you through the layout. Uh, on this main screen is our preview. So this is where we would have designed uh, a rough looking uh, layout of um, the lighting rig that you're working in. So uh, in our example here, we've got our stage just marked out by uh, this lectern and instruments. Then coming forward, we've got our truss, which has got two lights on. So these dots are selectable and these are our lighting fixtures. We've got a row of lighting fixtures down the left hand side and the right hand side. We've got a production desk marked at the back with our rear light, which is for our production desk. So um, all the uh, icons are uh, not clickable, they're just um, there as part of the map, but all the lights you can select just by clicking on them. Now, this is a, a very basic look at the software, so um, we've already made some presets, so we're gonna show you how to trigger those presets. So for this, we're gonna use this panel at the bottom labeled Live. You might find yourself over in the Design tab, but if you just come over to Live, that's where you wanna be. And this is where all of our pre-made presets sit. So on your left-hand side, we've got a, a, a virtual fader that we can grab, and that's our master level. So that is the uh, intensity of our lights um, from 100 down to zero. So generally, we'll want that left at full. Uh, you can ignore underneath this is a beats per minute uh, tempo bar. This is if we're doing more complex lighting sets where we want the lights to move or change or do anything uh, to a certain speed. But if you come to the right, we've got three groups of cues. We've got stage lighting cues, we've got roof lighting cues, and the desk lighting cues. And what we can do with these is uh, simply trigger them uh, to do different things with our lighting. So let's take the top one, for example. We've got our stage lighting cues. So if we were to hit white 100%, you'll see in our preview, these lights go to white and go up to 100% and also do it uh, on our lighting fixtures in the room. If we want to bring the intensity down a bit, simply flip over to 75, you'll see they dim slightly on the preview and in real life. And then for whatever reason you wanted to put some color on stage, um, this would probably be more like pre-meeting, not during the meeting, uh, you can hit any of the color presets. So we've got a, a, a nice blue, purple and a red and you'll see that they're they're fading between okay and then when you're done you can go back to white now coming below we've got our roof lighting cues so um, work exactly as the ones above uh, we don't have the whites uh, instead we've got colors because they look great on the roof uh, so you can simply toggle between them and they'll do a lovely little fade in between and on these we do have an off, so there might be times in the meeting where you don't want them on for whatever reason. You can simply hit the off and they will fade out over a couple of seconds. And then finally, just at the bottom, you've got your desk lighting cue. So this is for the light that's just aimed on the production desk, give you some light. So something like a, a blue or a red works great for um, illuminating the back area. So just simply hit that, that will fade the light up. Okay, that's all well and good, so we know how to use our presets, but let's say we actually need to make some manual changes, possibly on the fly in the meeting, so uh, possibly live. Well, you can do that as well. If you just come over to the design tab, first thing you need to do is pick the fixtures you want to change. So let's say for whatever reason, you want to change these back to roof lights. You can select like that to draw a box to gather them both, and now you've got some options. So you can grab colors, so you can send them into a blue, and you'll see they change on the preview or over to a purple. And then you can also bring the, the dimmer up. 
to make them even brighter and that's made those changes live for you and now uh, if you wanted to go back to one of your presets simply right click and go clear properties from all fixtures and that will return them back to the last preset they were on roof lights red and that is as simple as that uh, when you finish the end of your meeting there's no need to do anything particular the software can be closed down just as usual um, by going up to like key quit light key and that'll close the software down um, and then the lights can just be turned off as normal so that is the basics covered if you have any further questions you can email production at kereth.church or get in touch with your production lead at your site and we'll be happy to find out more equally if there's other areas of the software or you want to do something more with it that hasn't been set up yet then let us know and we'd love to work with you to make that happen thanks for watching